Um, yeah, I play an arch top on stage. I play a 295, an old 50s Gibson. Um, I mean, arch tops are the best because they resonate, you know? They feed back a little bit and you get to play with that, turn around, so... Uh, and it's always good to be able to play something plugged in or not, you know, depending on the situation. I do a lot of, like, sixth chunking sort of stuff, so that's right up the alley of this. this. This kind of guitar, I guess. Yeah, I like the uh, old school appointments, you know. I'm glad he brought back some of this early Epiphone days, you know. That was always a good time of guitar making that I've always wondered why people didn't harken back to it, you know. So I appreciate all the, uh, you know, I'm a sucker for the flash, so <laughs> that's cool. Um, the neck is a nice, beefy profile, which is good. Didn't skimp there does have a, like a sort of a softness to the touch, which I appreciate. Um, which probably contributes to a little bit of some warmth and, you know, has a nice thunk to it, which can be uh, hard to get, I think, sometimes. It has its own uh, flavor. It's, it's like it's got more... Um, presence than, than an arch top I have at home, you know, I think that that's, uh, that's handy. And definitely something that, uh, you know, when you're traveling with old guitars, sometimes you feel guilty. You know, it's like, you know, should I really bring out a 40s Vega? <laughs> it's like, maybe not. And so uh, to have something that, you know, can do that and you can get another one is, is very, uh, is very handy. <laughs> Sounds great.